In this video, we will learn about eye secretion and its effects on aviation. What is eye secretion? Eye secretion means collecting of eyes over the aircraft or its parts and its effects in aviation. How can it affect aviation? Is it good or is it, is, it should be prevent, uh, prevented? Okay, we will learn about that. There are actually two types of icing. One is airframe icing. Airframe. What is an airframe? This is a basic outside structure of an aircraft. <coughs> the fuselage, the wings, everything comes under the term airframe. So how can icing occur over an airframe? And what are the types of icing which can occur over our airframe? One type of icing over airframe is hoar frost. Suppose an aircraft is parked outside in a very cold winter day. Okay, what can happen? Water, the surface of aircraft will be very cold because it is a metal also, right? It is usually made of metals. So what happens is, when cold moist air passes through the structure, sublimation occurs and the gas, means water vapor, will turn to ice and it sticks to, sticks to the body of the aircraft just like the frost which forms inside a refrigerator okay it can happen in flight also when the aircraft is at a higher altitude it will be very cold when it suddenly descends in a high altitude there will be no significant water vapor moisture will not be there when it suddenly descends aircraft is still very cold it is moving to a hotter region where Moisture will be there. Sublimation can happen there also, turning the water vapor to ice and it sticks to, to the body of the aircraft. That is called a hoar frost. Is hoar frost a dangerous thing for aviation? No. Why? Because it is just a, um, a layer of um, icing and it is also in a crystal form. It can be wiped off. I don't add much to the airframe, no, not much weight to the airframe. It won't cause any disruption to the airflow. So it is not an aviation hazard. Then comes opaque rime. What is that? When small super cold water droplets super cooled water droplets in very small size, drizzle size hits aircraft, aircraft body when it is passing through uh, clouds of around uh, 0 to minus 7 degrees Celsius that means just below freezing level temperatures what happens is the droplets will stick on the aircraft and become ice in a sudden in a, in a, instantly it will become ice and we can see ice like some porous opaque uh, texture that is called opaque rime okay when this rime becomes substantially enough big in size that will disrupt the airflow and that causes the rime itself to blow off and it will simply blow off to the atmosphere and is also not a aviation hazard okay remember it is small super cold water droplets which, which causes opaque rime okay then comes three translucent rime or glaze ice
or clear eyes okay this is a aviation hazard how it occurs when large super cooled water drops not droplets water drops large super cooled water drops when it hits on the aircraft frame it will hit it will spread also okay and it will become a clear coating of ice and it can happen in propeller blades also and even in the structure wing structure and fuselage also what will be the result large drops will hit the airframe and it will spread spread backwards to the airflow and form a clear sheet of ice all over the surface during the formation uh, uh, during the formation during the first part of formation it won't be a hazard but still it adds to the weight of the aircraft okay so what happens is stall speed will be in increased dramatically weight is increased right and performance will be degraded because aircraft weight is increasing and if it occurs in propeller what happens is the aerodynamic structure will get disrupted aerodynamicity will be disrupted and it will get some unusual shape the shape of this eyes also okay that also causes performance degradation and it sticks so hard that it can't be wiped off easily this is like uh, ice cubes in refrigerators it sticks so hard and it can't be wiped off even if it comes off it will be like stored for example it came off from a uh, from wings there are lot many chances that it will hit some other part of the body means other part of fuselage or in the uh, vertical stabilizer or anywhere it can hit elevators or anywhere it can hit because it is large large it is heavy and it is hard enough it can even damage the structure of aircrafts and so this is one of the most severe aviation hazards which is translucent rime or glazed ice or clear ice and is there any method to prevent icing yes there are some methods one is using heating heating methods heating coils will be there in propeller blades and even in wings when it is switched on the coils will start getting heated and it will simply remove the ice because if it is heated ice can stick to the surface one another method is de-icing de-icing fluids are there which will be sprayed onto the surface of the aircraft which causes uh, a lower freezing temperature which lowers the freezing temperature alcohol propylene glycol etc are, are used as this de-icing agents then comes using rubber boots inflatable rubber boots rubber tubings will be there over the wings and it will be inflated it will be expanded using higher air pressure that will break off the ice which is present okay actually this one comes in metrology it is a part in technique anyway then comes temperatures where icing can be expected 0 to minus 7 degrees celsius severe minus 7 to minus 12 degrees celsius moderate minus 12 to minus 20 light minus 20 to 
minus 4 to n dot nil why <coughs> in 0 to minus 7 degree Celsius temperature water drops will be there <coughs> that when hit on the aircraft surface can cause icing and it will stick on the aircraft parts also but when it is minus 7 to minus 10 still some tiny water droplets will be there then also moderate icing can be expected but when it is minus 12 and below there will be ice crystals only they won't stick they will simply hit and go they won't stick so ice secretion is very less light or nil when the temperatures are below minus 12 degrees Celsius okay and which are the clouds in which we can expect icing there are high clouds ci cs and cc where nil to light icing because it is already consisted of ice crystals and so no chance of icing then comes altostratus altostratus and nimbostratus uh, more light to moderate icing is possible because it contains water drops and ice crystals then comes alto cumulus light to severe icing can be expected in alto cumulus okay because it consisted of water drops itself then towering cumulus and cb we can expect somewhere between light and severe icing it depends on the height and other conditions okay so these are the temperature levels and cloud levels uh, cloud types where we can expect icing and then comes effects of icing what are, th what are the effects of icing? How it is significant to aviation? One thing is increase stall speed. Usually if an aircraft stalls at 50 kilometers per hour or 50 my, uh, knots speed. If icing is there, it can stall even at 80 kilometers. Even at 80 knots it can stall. Okay, that is one thing which is the increase in stall speed which we should expect. Then increase in drag. If the aircraft is not aerodynamic, then drag will be increased. Icing can alter the aerodynamicity and it can increase drag. Then drag means we can expect less lift also. Okay, then comes jam controls control surfaces can be jammed because the hinges to which it is attached can be blocked can be jammed with the icing so that is one serious hazard which, uh, which is caused by the icing then unequal loading unequal loading when different parts of aircraft are loaded unequally then it will cause um, movement of CG position CG which is center of gravity position from to, towards some odd positions that can result in in a hazard that can be fatter also and if this sizing is happening in propeller blades the design of the, the shape of uh, shape and design the aerodynamicity of the propeller blades will be altered that means vibrations can also happen vibrations when become uncontrollable that can also be fatal then as it can block air speed indicator how air speed indicator works it is uh, collecting air means air pressure through a tube called pitot tube pitot tube is a small tube which is um, which faces opposite to the faces towards the airflow when icing occurs that airflow will be blocked 
So that can result in <coughs> erroneous readings in ASI, air speed indication. Then comes aerials. There are aerials for radio communication in an aircraft. Okay. If they are covered with the ice, they can hinder communication also. So these are the ill effects of air frame icing. One is increasing stall speed, second one is a drag, then comes jammed controls, then comes unequal loading of parts and propeller. And that unequal loading can cause vibrations also, can start vibrations. And ASI, airspeed indicator can give erroneous readings. Why? Because airflow gets restricted. So reading can be, even the reading can be zero or giving error. And then areas will be, uh, when the areas are covered, that can cause error in radio transmission also. So this is all about air frame icing. Then comes engine icing engine icing. Engine icing is, all, uh, is of two types. One is impact icing. What is impact icing? When icing happens on impact, for example in air index, air index will be placed towards the airflow. So if it is blocked, engine will suffocate. Air will not, will not be reaching engine. That means engine will be off. This engine will be turned off. That absolutely results in no power and can be fatter also. Then comes carburetor icing. Carburetor icing. What is a carburetor? It is a device where fuel is mixed with the air and then fed to the engine for combustion. Okay. Actually, in a carburetor, there is a butterfly fly valve and a venturi type opening. When air is passed through this opening, it is allowed to expand. Expand means pressure will be, means it is allowed to expand. This causes, air is expanding at an expense of drop of temperature. When, a, when temperature drops, what happens? Icing can occur. And this is more probable when relative humidity is very high. When RH is more than 60%, then carburetor icing is very probably, is very uh, susceptible to happen, carburetor icing. Because the humidity in the air will become ice due to sublimation and why because there is an expanding valve in the carburetor okay if the carburetor get choked if it is blocked what happens engine won't get fuel air mixture and engine will die off okay so these are the two effects of engine icing due to ice secretion and this can even happen in uh, happen when temperatures are up to 30 degrees Celsius, even up to plus 30 degrees Celsius, this can happen. Engine icing can happen. Carburetor icing. So carburetor heating setup is, all, all, uh, is present in almost all aircrafts, in first engine aircrafts, to avoid this, to counter this. Okay. <coughs> so this is all about our chapter, ice secretion. Now you can start writing, start attending the online trial exam. Thank you.